Hi everyone. Well, <sighs> sit back there. <coughs> what I'm going to talk about today is the very best way to reduce your energy cost in, in um, heating your home. Um, this year, especially, I, I, I think is extremely important to share with you what I've been doing. Uh, probably for I don't know, eight or nine years. Um, when I lived in the city, the house I had was a 15-room house. Uh, it was almost 2,000 square feet. Now, the thing about that was is that uh, it was I, I was using about four tanks of fuel a year. Um, and at the time it wasn't really expensive, it was running about four hundred uh, dollars a barrel Canadian at the time, but even at that I didn't want to spend that amount of money. And uh, uh, it was an older home and I'd already done a lot of insulating to it so I'm not going to go into insulation on on it what I want to do is go after you've done everything to insulate your home you have to uh, uh, and if you want to get the costs down and 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 the thing about it is is that uh, you know if you're a style person versus substance you may as well turn this video off right now because you're not going to like what I'm going to have to tell you. Uh, simply because uh, I wanted a result and I didn't care um, uh, about the res I, I didn't care how I achieved the result as long as I got the result. And my result was to reduce energy costs and to be comfortable. So, basically here's what I did. Like I said, I had a uh, rather large hose, and um, what I figured was is I spent most of the time where my cute computer was and where the television was, which was basically the living room. And the living room was uh, it was about 1,700, no, 170 square feet. So which was approximately about 10% of the house. So, in my mind, I figured, well, you know what? If I only heat 10% of the house, I'll only require 10% of the fuel. Well, it doesn't work out that way, but uh, <coughs> it's close. So, what I did was, is that I closed off all the rooms that I wasn't using, uh, including the bedrooms, and including the bedroom that I slept in, um, and and then I, where the living room door was, where it came in, I put up curtains, right, and lo and behold, I used uh, instead of using four barrels of oil that year, I used about one and a quarter barrels of fuel. Because basically I was heating that room. Now, the bedrooms were cold, but once, uh, you know, I, I had like a double, I had two sleeping bags with blankets. I wasn't cold. Once I got into bed, it was a bit chilly getting in, but once you got in, you're okay. Um... Uh, kind of nasty going to the bathroom in the middle of the night uh, <laughs> but you know it's it's part of that's just part of it now since I moved down here into the country uh, the place I have is a lot smaller um, but even so I just mainly heat the one room uh, the living room that I'm in now uh, has a, a big opening that leads into the dining room uh, and I have curtains up there, and I put curtains up at the door going leading into the kitchen. Again, the bedrooms are left cold. 
Um, in fact, I sleep with a bedroom win window open, so basically the temper in, in, in my bedroom is the same as it is outside. Um, I use two sleeping bags and a blanket. Um, I have to tell you, I'm warm. But the beauty of this is, is that the first year I moved down here, I used seventeen hundred dollars worth of fuel. Uh, seventeen? Yeah, the, yeah. The price was down, and, and I required uh, three barrels, uh, three three Phillips. One, uh, I filled up the initial fill up, and then two others, and I used half about the other. So I used about seventeen hundred dollars worth of fuel the first year I was down. Uh, the second year, because I installed a wood stove, I used just over a barrel, um, which went, was about, you know, uh, the price of fuel had gone up by then. I think it was about, I used about $1,100 worth of fuel. Then I went and I did the curtain thing, and I got it down to... Two years ago, I used it was just around a hundred dollars worth of fuel, and last year I used twenty dollars worth of fuel. Now, in addition to curtaining off the openings, the doors, and everything like that, I also have sleeping bags that I put up as soon as the uh, uh, the sun goes down, or as the sun is starting to go down. I put the uh, sleeping bags up over the windows. Uh, even the best of windows, you know, the best you're going to get, unless you get one of these super high-tech windows, but the best you're going to get is, you know, R3 or 4. I mean, the heat just flows out those windows, you know. And uh, with a sleeping bag up there, I don't know what the air value of the sleeping bag is, but uh, it does keep the heat in. Um, just make sure that the sleeping bags cover, you know, go for you know, six or eight inches over the sides of it, and, you know, you will, you will save heat there. Um, you know, if you look around your home, see which, you know, like, look at, look, you know, what I'm, what I'm talking about here doesn't cost a lot of money. Um, if you don't have the sleeping bags, go to a thrift store. They always have some there. You pick them up for five or six dollars. Um, you know, you need a sleeping bag to cover every window, uh, or those big, thick comforters, right? And if you're skillful with a, a sewing machine or needle and thread and everything like that, you can make a curtain. You know, a nice looking curtain out of those big comforters for these windows. And instead of having just your basic thin curtain, you've got a nice thick. Uh, air stopping, air trapping um, uh, uh, curtain, right? Um, like I said, uh, we, we use the bulk of our time, the bulk of our time is usually spent in one room. You don't need, uh, uh, you don't need heat in the kitchen. Now the bathroom, because you got to have showers and stuff like that, what you can do before you take your shower, you have an electric heater. Not when the water's running, you know, <laughs> you don't want to electric heat yourself. But you just take an electric heater, plug it in, and let the electric heater warm the bathroom up. It doesn't take long to do it. Um, and it won't use a lot of electricity, right? Um, now, dealing with the rest of the family, you know, they want their independence, and the kids want to go to their own room, and so on and so forth. Tough. Just tell them, say, look, you know, these energy costs are killing us. This economy is killing us. The debt we have is killing us. I want to reduce this. And, I mean, this is part of a, a debt reduction plan um, that we all should have. So, you know... It doesn't cost much. It doesn't take. You, you'll need some uh, hooks or snaps or Velcro to put the sleeping bags up. You know, I'll leave that up to you. I'm not going to explain how I did it. I, I just sewed loops onto the sleeping bags and put up cup hooks, and I just hooked them on, and uh, they stay in place. And every, like 
I said, before the sun goes down, I put them up. And when the sun comes up in the morning, I take them down. And on the cold days in the winter time, you know, uh, you know when it gets really, really cold in January and February, well, then you can use, you can put some of the, you know, uh, you can, you'll save so much in October, November, early December, uh, late February, March, and April that you'll, um, you know, you, you can splurge. And at Christmas time, you get rid of all this stuff and decorate your house as per normal. And for that two-week period, it's just the way it always was. Unless you don't give a rat. And then you just, you know, I'm like, I, I don't care. Like, when people come, and they see the sleeping bags up, they look, and well, what's that? I'll say, I'm keeping the heat in. Oh, that's a good idea. That's usually what they say. But you go to their house, and they don't do it. They just let the heat flow through the window. And, uh, you know, if you don't have insulation in your walls, you can always put up uh, sleeping bags all right around the room that you're, that you're maintaining. Another great way to uh, uh, reduce your energy cost is sweaters and heavy socks and polar fleece uh, 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 pants, right? I mean, uh, and don't be adverse to wearing a jacket in the house. Right. I mean, it's 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 only the the social mores mores or whatever you call it. The, you know, oh, you got to have the open concept. You know, the reason they promote the open concept is because when you have the big open concept, you use more energy. All these homes that have been built and 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 the renovations that have been made. My place in town, I I did a lot of renovations to it. Reversing. You know, the host that I had was built in 1927, and they took out walls and they had it open. And every time the, the, you open the door to go outside, you'd lose a whole pile of heat and stuff like this. These concepts were promoted back in the 60s and 70s and 80s to so that it would take the maximum amount of energy. The government wants you to use the maximum amount of energy because you. They collect tax from them. You know, in the uh, you know when uh, all the old houses, if you've been in an old house right that hasn't been renovated, you'll see that you know the living room is a small room that's closed off, and uh, all the rooms have doors, and they are and 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 some of them might I like my dad used to install furnaces, and I went to work for him when I was a kid back in the '60s, and. Uh, you know, basically slave slash gopher slash do whatever I tell you to do, guy. And um, we would go in and we'd be taking out the old gravity furnaces, which were really fuel efficient. Um, and, you know, these houses were, were had a small footprint and they went up. And what they would do, the gravity furnace was a sort of a pot, uh, what do you call it, the uh, pot heater, um, like, you know, be, you know, they just had a ring in it, and it burned oil in it, and it sort of burned for hours, and it heated up this big box, and then the heat would just rise up through a grate in the floor, and then there was a grate on the second floor, and the heat would go up through there, and the bedrooms were left cold, right, but you had the main heat in these rooms, um, and, uh, you know, our grandfathers survived in this, and our grandmothers. That's the way they lived, and they didn't burn the amount of fuel that we burn today. You know, the forced air furnace, uh, whether it's oil, natural gas, or if people are uh, have electric. Um, man, I gotta tell you, uh, you know, this is designed to burn the maximum. You know, if you go into people's houses and it's, uh, you know, 70 degrees in their bedrooms. And they spend most of the time in their living room. What is that all about? Right. So anyway, th you know that's my take on it. This is the very best way of reducing your heating costs. So, you know, add your comments below. Right. And uh, till the next time.